Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm on my way to pick up a grocery haul. I've made out my two week menu and I'm gonna share that with you here in a bit. Um, I'm not feeling the best today. I'm okay, I just, I just am not feeling so great. So I have a chauffeur, Miss Amy is off today. So she's driving me to pick up our grocery order. Appreciate that so much. So we have a really pretty day today. I don't know if you can see out my window. Beautiful blue sky with big puffy clouds. Um, I'm gonna show you my menu that I made for the next two weeks. And a lot of the ingredients I already had at home. So I was able to spend less on my groceries and a little more stocking up and preparing for the food shortages in case they do become a problem. So I'm gonna flip the camera and show you my menu real quick. Okay, so here's my menu. I wrote the date at the top here so I'll know because I have a lot of menus and lists and things around. So, all right, I did, like I showed you in the previous video, I divided into breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Even though I call it supper half the time, I always label it dinner on my menu. So, I'm in the car, Amy's driving, but I'm still having some trouble here, shaking and carrying on. All right, so for day one, I'm gonna make my muffins. I like these muffins because um, the batter, it makes a huge batch, and you can store the batter in the refrigerator for up to six weeks. So it's easy to just whip out your muffin pan and dip up muffins and get them baked, and there you go. That's a great grab-and-go breakfast, and it's a bit healthier than some of the things that you've seen me buy for breakfast. Okay, so day one, we're gonna have our muffins. For lunch, we're gonna have just a lunch meat sandwich, carrot sticks, cheese sticks, chips, you know, whatever goes well with a sandwich. And then for dinner that night, we'll do chicken curry and rice. All right, day two, I'm gonna have McMuffins. That is um, an egg McMuffin that I, to uh, excuse me, it's an English muffin that I toast in the toaster. And then I cook a sausage patty and an egg. I use a biscuit cutter for the circular shape. I cook an egg and then a slice of cheese. So it's, it's very similar to the McDonald's sandwiches. For lunch, we will have jambalaya. I have a Zatarain's mix and smoked sausage that I will put in that. For dinner that night, we will have sloppy joes and either tater tots or onion rings or something along that line. Okay, the next day I have for breakfast, a breakfast burrito. And what I will do, I'll make a large batch of breakfast burritos and assemble those. And then the ones we don't use, I will wrap in wax paper you can go ahead. You don't need to stop for him. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna think about, I'm thinking about going okay. Yeah, just, you're fine. Yeah, it's fine to do that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So for my breakfast burrito, I brown sausage and I add shredded hash browns and I will beat eggs and cook in there like scrambled eggs and shredded cheese and put them on tortillas, wrap them up and then, like I said, the extras will be wrapped in wax paper and placed in Ziploc freezer bags and frozen until needed. And that will be also be a fast breakfast on the go. And it's more economical. This recipe is one that is more economical to make a large amount and freeze the extra. Okay, for lunch that day, we'll have tuna salad. And dinner that night will be baked ham. I have a ham in the freezer that I need to use. So I will bake that ham and probably have scalloped potatoes, green beans, that type of thing with it. And then the leftovers from the ham will, will provide meat for several meals throughout this period. Okay, the next day I have eggs and toast on the menu. For lunch, I have a quesadilla. And what I do is I warm my skillet and place a large tortilla. And then on half of the tortilla, I will lay lunch meat, uh, like ham or smoked turkey breast, whatever, and I'll lay cheese slices on top of that. And then I fold it over and I toast it on one side, flip it and toast it on the other. And 
that's what I call a quesadilla. All right, for dinner that night, I'm gonna have chicken scampi. That is a recipe that my sister fixed recently and looked so good that Brent said, let's have that too, so we are. Okay, the next day we're gonna have muffins again, a lunch meat sandwich, and sloppy joes. And the reason I'm having sloppy joes twice is our small group from church meets on Sunday evenings and we have a potluck. That's what I was trying to say. We all bring potluck items. So I'm gonna bring sloppy joes. Then the next day is McMuffin sandwiches for breakfast, frozen pizza for lunch, and ham hash brown casserole for dinner using up leftover baked ham. This is Amy's favorite, by the way. Then for breakfast the next day will be bagels. For lunch, I'm gonna make egg salad. And again, I will make enough to um, have several meals from the egg salad. And then Friday night will be homemade pizza. Okay, the next day will be a breakfast burrito. The next day that will be on a Saturday, so it'll we'll just be grab a breakfast burrito and microwave it. Or if I think ahead of time, I will take them out of the freezer and place them in the fridge the night before, so I'm not dealing with a frozen burrito the next morning. Okay lunch again will be a sandwich either egg salad or lunch meat for dinner that night I'm gonna do smoked sausage and sauerkraut and I usually will fix fried potatoes with that okay the next day is cereal frozen pizza for lunch and it's Sunday so I'll be bringing hot dogs for a small group for our potluck okay and then we have eggs and toast quesadilla and then ham and beans and corn, I'll fix cornbread with that and probably cabbage. And again, I'm using leftover ham from the baked ham. Okay, day 11 it looks like, we'll have bagels for breakfast, egg salad sandwich, and then for dinner I'll have cube steak. And then day 12 will be a McMuffin for breakfast, frozen pizza for lunch, and enchiladas for dinner. And the enchiladas is a meal that I will make um, enough extra to have a meal for the next payday in the freezer. Okay, day 13 is muffins, sandwich, lunch meat, egg salad, whatever. Beef stroganoff for dinner that night. And the last day is eggs and toast. And then I left the lunch and dinner blank because it will probably be uh, leftovers and homemade pizza or whatever so that's my menu and I had a lot of my ingredients at home already for these items my grocery list was very small so I went ahead like I said and used the rest of my grocery budget for uh, my stocking up on my prepping pantry and making sure that we have what we need in case food shortages do come to our area as well so I'm gonna say goodbye right now and when we get home I will show you my grocery haul okay guys we made it home and here's our haul today. It's a very large haul actually. Um, it's not very well organized, but we'll just go around the table like we always do and I'll tell you what I got. Alrighty, starting here, start in the middle of the table. I have um, the snack sweets for lunches and snacks. I have six cans of the seasoned butter beans. This has turned out to be one of our favorites here lately. It's the Margaret Holmes seasoned butter beans. Those are so amazing. I got one pound, 1.5 pound, 24 ounces of sour cream and the same size of cottage cheese. Four things of frozen corn. A generic Velveeta cheese for a recipe I'm going to be doing. Two packages of Oscar Mayer bologna. Uh, this is this was hard for me to do. Jimmy Dean sausage, a one pound roll, is now four dollars. It literally went from like two seventy eight to four dollars. I remember when this was like a dollar something not very long ago, but. I got it for my breakfast burritos, and I know that that will make several breakfasts for my family, so I bit the bullet and paid $4 for a pound of sausage. Yikes. All right. 
And I got chicken, chicken breast tenderloin. I got those for $3.46 a pound. That's high. <laughs> I paid $8.75 for this 2.53, so about two and a half pounds. I paid $8.75. That's that's ridiculous. I got cube steak. Let me see here. I paid $5.78 a pound and I got 2.8. Oh, eight. So basically two pounds of cube steak for $12. That's also very expensive. Um, I got the Johnsonville Better Cheddars. I got two packages of those just to have in the freezer. I'm out and we like to keep things like that for when Brent wants to cook on the grill or run the smoker. I got a package of Oscar Mayer wieners for one of our potlucks for a small group at church. I got a big package of chicken breast. Price per pound was 208. The pound was 5.06, so five pounds for $10.52. I got Cheetos, Sun Chips, frozen pot pie for Brent to take for lunch. I've been getting several frozen dinners each payday, and they had none. All I could get was literally a chicken pot pie. Everything else, and as far as like the individual frozen meals, were gone. I got a package of Totino's pizzas, a box of cornflakes for breakfast, and also for the crumb topping on my ham and hash brown casserole. I have southern style hash browns for my ham and hash brown casserole. And I also had the shredded hash browns for breakfast burritos. I ordered four big things of applesauce to have in my prepper pantry. And I ordered Great Value brand and they didn't have any, so they substituted three with Mott's cinnamon applesauce. I'm assuming there's another thing of applesauce somewhere around this table, I don't know. Okay, I got four boxes of Spaghetti Classics just to have in my prepper pantry. Beverages, I got Brent's tea and two cubes of Dr. Pepper. I got the liquid hand soap. Now I get this for $3 and something. And then I make my own foaming hand soap. I put just a about half an inch worth of this in my dispenser and fill it the rest of the way with water and shake it and that, that gives you foaming hand soap. It also makes the hand soap last a lot longer. I got bananas, the ibuprofen for our prepper pantry. I got downy, laundry detergent, tortillas, because we're gonna have nachos one night, bagels, fresh garlic for a recipe I'm trying, tortillas for our breakfast burritos, fresh jalapenos, Miss Amy's Chick-fil-A sauce, two things of Jim Beam apple, uh, maple bourbon barbecue sauce. I got four things of the Oikos triple zero Greek yogurt. Oh, this is not triple zero. I wanted it and they didn't have triple zero, so I'm trying these out to see if I like them. A loaf of multigrain bread, a big thing of pinto beans, eight pounds for the prepper pantry. Also, more of the non-fat dry milk for the pantry. And I got some smashed hamburger buns. I was not happy with how my car got loaded today. I got a package of hamburger buns for the fellowship potluck at church. We're going to take Sloppy Joe's hamburger buns for us because we're going to have Sloppy Joe's one night. And hot dog buns also for potluck at church. I'm taking the summer, like the sandwich items because we're right now we're meeting outside and having like a picnic style meal. I got buttermilk for my muffin recipe, milk to have. Oh yeah, and here's my applesauce. They only had one of the great value applesauce. That's why they gave me the three others they substituted. A big package of bath soap, 12 bars. Febreze to make everything smell nice and some shampoo. 
All right, that's my haul, everyone. My table is full and now it all has to be put away. That's the least fun job of all. But hey, I'm so thankful that I was able to get most everything on my list to fill in my gaps and be prepared. So thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon.